Hey everybody, welcome to another Fun in 5, bringing you today Clank. Clank is a game that uh, I wasn't sure about when we got it at first. The name itself is really bizarre, just a name about a sound, but it's in a deep fantasy setting, which I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. And we've turned out to love it as a family. We've played it many, many times. We've bought quite a few expansions, and we even played the Legacy version, which uh, I'm not going to talk about here, but it is fantastic. But what do I like about Clank? Let's get into it. Uh, first off, I like the Clank mechanic. So what is that? The Clank mechanic is basically a, a luck system where you're going to be, over time, making noise with your stumble cards, and you're going to have to put Clank into a kind of a community Clank pile. And then every time a dragon attacks, you and all of the, your um, other players have to put that into the bag. And there's a chance that they're going to pull out your cubes or the dragon cubes over time, and you're going to take damage. So there's a, a push-your-luck mechanic in that aspect because there's ways that you can take extra clank to acquire extra cards. And there's ways that you can remove clank or uh, avoid clank altogether uh, as the game progresses. But I just like the, the idea that you're making sound and the dragon's noticing and listening as you foray through the dungeon and suddenly uh, it could be your demise because of all the times you generated that noise or that clank, so to speak. All right, so that's the first one. The second one is um, basically the fun fantasy setting that it's in. So I love fantasy games. I'll pan over some cards here, um, but I mean, j just a simple art. It's kind of a uh, cartoonish in a, in a light fantasy way, but not so much that it throws you off. Um, and it has some cool thematic um, statements in it, like sometimes the door knocks on you for the animated door, or something like, uh, tis but a scratch, but I've had worse, I'll walk it off. Um, you draw all kinds of cards that you're going to build into this deck building game, and it's just fun to look at them while it's not your turn, read some of the flavor text, and watch some of the visuals, because every card does have different art. So I like the fantasy theme that it puts you in. It's not over the top, it's just fun, it's light, and it's colorful, and it makes the game work, because uh, the theme itself, even the name Clank, is very light. It's not a deep, deep game. Uh, third thing that I like is that it's a deck builder. I love deck builder games. Uh, I've loved Di Dominion, uh, Tyrants of the Underdark. We've played um, a couple other different deck building games, but this is one that has been really fun because it's a deck builder that's in a board game um, in a different sense. And so we like that you can purchase cards over time. You purchase cards that are worth combat and you purchase cards that are worth uh, skill. And those do different things in the game. So you kind of have to balance that out and decide what you want to invest most of your time and energy in and hope that your deck uh, works to get you towards that goal at the end. Uh, so deck building is a fun part of this game. I think they did it well. I think there's some balance to it. There's a bit of luck when it comes to the marketplace and what can happen with that because it is a marketplace-based deck builder instead of a standard uh, you know, a tableau deck builder. Uh, so these cards will change over time as people grab them. There'll be some randomness to that. Uh, but it's still very fun to see what pops up. And there are ways that you can intentionally buy things to, to try to encourage the dragon to attack or avoid buying certain things to prevent the dragon from attack, like the, um, the permanent community cards that are on the top. Or you can always kill the goblin as many times as you want. This thing, this dungeon is infested with goblins, so you can always stab them with your combat ability. All right, the fourth thing I like is that it has a race mechanic in it. So the game will have a determined end step because eventually this dragon here um, is going to get angrier and pull more and more of these clank cubes out of the bag when they attack. Uh, and so there's always the fear that the dragon's going to get you as you take damage over time. Uh, but not only that, um, if a player goes through the dungeon and acquires an artifact and they get out of the dungeon, that puts a per immediate time clock on the game where there's only going to be about three more turns for someone else to escape from their dungeon, or they're going to die underneath or get less points if they make it above ground. And so that kind of race against time mechanic, uh, both for yourself to avoid dying from the dragon, but also to maybe be the first one out uh, to try to get the, the most points, or uh, push your own luck and be the last one out and still hope to get the bonus 20 points for getting to the top of the castle. So I really love the, the race against time is built in in different layers in the game and adds a sense of um, I got to get out of here at some point because you really are just looting a dungeon and then the fifth thing is a uh, planning planning turns and that goes ties well in with the race against time because you really as you have turns I mean you have a pre-built deck of 10 cards at the beginning of the game and every card you buy you're going to eventually cycle through and draw again and you have to plan knowing what's in your deck knowing where you want to go you have a certain amount of footsteps you can take which is another cool mechanic you have a certain amount of skill that you can spend you'll have a certain amount of swords that you get and so each hand you have to plan out where am i going to go and 
where I go, is that going to have an effect on what I can do next turn? Am I going to have enough steps to get to the artifact before my opponent? Am I going to have enough steps to get out of the dungeon before the last turn? Um, so planning every turn is very impactful. And sometimes those turns are impacted by crystal caves that stop you in your tracks or uh, dragon attacks, which make you uh, rethink your decisions. But it's still fun. So Clank had a lot of fun with this as a deck building board game fantasy adventure with my family uh, for all those reasons and more and highly encourage you to give this one a try if you haven't done it before. It is a lot of fun for the family. Take care. Thanks.